all appendages, Six, you've adorned them all with jewelry. 600,000. Or wow. shackles, <laughs> from the sounds of it. You can shackle me with a World Series bracelet anytime you want. Shackle me with the payout. That's that. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Oh. One million sleeps from that. No. Heads up. Mateos open limp the button. Kincaid says run it. And we have a situation on our hands here as Kincaid is flopped trips, sixes. Quickly checks it over to Mateos, who's got Queen Jack for Jackson sixes, a good kicker, and the Queen of Clubs working. That's 425,000. Yeah, we'll see if Kincaid wants to respond by fast playing with the trips or not. Of course, you know, there's the obvious flush draw right now. Ten seconds. Kincaid does indeed check raise. Mateos asking for a count, and this is so much hand with the ace of clubs, Maria. Maybe we opt to flat instead? Yeah, but I do think having the ace of clubs make it a nice combination to fast play because, of course, you are sometimes representing perhaps the nut flush draw. And so if you know that Mateos can't have the ace of clubs in his hand, then that could potentially factor into Mateos' decision to put you on that type of draw, which if Mateos has a good enough piece, he will have to continue. Fair point. Oh. As we see Mateos understandably plunking down over two and a half million more to take the turn. And that turn is clean for both holdings. All in. All in. Kincaid moves all in. Not quite full pot, but still a healthy chunk of change. And I think Mateos' consideration really just comes down to how often does he think Kincaid will be making this type of play with just a flush draw. I mean... Sometimes you don't expect somebody to play, you know, perhaps a Jack X type hand this strong, but what if that was Six, a four, line that Kincaid seven, could seven, perhaps five. take with Jacks and Sixes as seven, well? Seven, 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 you know, the Queen Kicker's good. It's it's not the best. Mateo's blocking the Jack of Diamonds is a bit of a concern, is it not? Because we would expect that inferior Jacks that pick up a Diamond flush draw maybe on the turn would be in the range of holdings that Kincaid would be willing to pile with yeah for sure and i think at this point it's really just down to whether mateos thinks kincaid has trips or a flush draw adrian dressing him down there you can see he's not at all happy with this spot you love me no nice fold from mateos <laughs> and i mean he asked Kincaid if he was bluffing, and Kincaid said no, and I was convinced whether or not I saw the cards. I mean, I thought that that was just a very honest response. Hey. Not sure what the exact high water mark was, but he is working his way back toward it, courtesy of hands like Ace Jack suited on the button. And Red Crab in the pot for Ben Heath. Ben with about 25 big blinds. All in. Piles it in there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the times you're going to get a fold out of the button open. And so that would make it very profitable. And when you get called, you're usually flipping. So here we go. And Mateos, who had folded that exact ace jack suited in a different scenario earlier at this final table, does not hesitate to make the call here in this one and finds himself in a pure coin flip. Man in. Sick yeah. flip for all three of us. 
<laughs> man, man, it's not wrong, Ben. Ten nine five. Things looking all right for the two threes, which jump out into the lead as you see the percentages swinging in Ben Heath's favor, but still two to come. The turn is clean, and now the diamond ace and diamond jack melt away from the top of your screen. Mateos with just four outs once in a 21.5 million chip pot. Will the threes hold? They will. And now, for the first time, Adrian Mateos has been dethroned as our chip leader. Well, it looks like considering Heath is guaranteed a $1.37 million payout, he's going to pass his good friend Charlie Carroll on that list regardless. It also looks like we're going to have some blood in the street here potentially with Mateos looking down at two aces and Kincaid having opened a $1 million plus on the button with two nines. We know Johnny doesn't like to muck the good ones. 2.7. Ray is 2.7. Yeah, especially for 30 bigs effective. Not much room to really get away from nines. You're not always going to expect Mateos to only have a value only three betting range necessarily in this spot. I think you can count on Mateos to be a little tighter in this scenario just because Heath was behind him to act. Certainly, you know, if Mateos re-raised from, uh, from the big blind, that may contain a few more Rolling. loose Rolling. opens. Rolling. But yeah, you can't hate on Kincaid for making Rolling. this play. Oh, nope. Just. Obviously, the snap call was always of concern for Kincaid, who did not want to see it. Sails in the short stack. 12 million plus, and that is not the look of a man who is altogether pleased pushing his chips forward, but he did manage to take an ace jack up against an ace queen and avoid elimination earlier against Keith Tilston. And really, that was the beginning of Tilston's demise, the fifth place finisher. Will he cheat death once more? No, sir. Top set for Adrian Mateos and running nines or running Broadway cards. The 10 8 also. The only paths to some draw live for Johnny Kincaid. Anything else, and he'll be drawing dead on the turn. Hope okay. for a chop. There will be no victory outright, but perhaps a rebate and some extended play as his rail looks on. No 10 on the end. Ace is full for Adrian Mateos. Got a lot of people rooting for Mateos, though. That is the real long and short of that. Are there Spanish IP addresses attached <laughs> to those screen names? Can we investigate? Raise. Raise. 1.4 million. Well, Heath now trying to get something going as he raises to 1.4 from the big. That's been Mateos' trick. Call. But unlike when Adrian puts the raise in and the button folds, he stays sticky with the queen 10. Does not connect on the 5-6-7 rainbow flop. Different story for Heath, who has bottom pair of gutty backdoor diamonds. That's one million. 
Mateo's just trying to get Heath to fold perhaps some of that ace x king x part of his range that he could have raised with but this is why it's nice sometimes to oh. have these type of lower suited hands in your open range because you have some board coverage um, but uh oh my goodness e heath checking calling the one million and queen high turns into top pair and a 5.2 million chip pot and if the chat felt like Mateos was getting hit by the deck before, they're certainly going to feel that way now. Ten seconds. Two point eight. That's two point eight million. A little north of fifty percent the sizing from Mateos, but it is a decent chunk of Heath's remaining seven point nine, Maria. Yeah, and Heath, of course, was hoping to turn a little bit more equity because obviously this bottom pair is going to be hard to get to showdown with. Call. He will find out whether or not that showdown will come cheap as he makes a call, bringing the pot to 10.8 million, and he is unimproved on the river. Yeah, and just half pot back for Heath. The eight X's and the four X's, of course, missing with this river. Love Mateos's table presence, by the way, Maria. Just strictly business. Doesn't really give anything off. Heath just with a pure bluff catcher. And, you know, Mateos started this hand with just a call from the button, and it was Heath who raised it up. So Heath really trying to consider what type of hands Queen. Mateos will oh be doing goodness. this with, and he does call. It's over. Yeah. I'm off. Adrian Mateos has won his fourth oh. World Series of Poker bracelet. And the 250k oh, yeah. high roller, 3.26 million in change. I don't think either of us anticipated that Heath would just make that call right there. He's going to take home over 2 million, but wow.